Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going over everything relevant to Mortal Online 2 and its development that was mentioned in the weekly developer livestream on December 1st. This week the stream was mainly about the arena event, so there was less development info given, but just like before, I'm going to go over every single relevant detail that was mentioned so nothing is left out and give you some of my thoughts along the way. Leave a like if you enjoy this type of video and subscribe if you want to see more and let's get into it. First off, Henrik mentioned that the next Sprint 2 update is almost here and that it's almost complete, but they're just making sure that it's stable before releasing it. He also said later in the stream that they plan on releasing it very early next week. He then focused on the arena event in Tindrum where teams of two players fought each other and the winners were Mona and Halvash, and over the rest of the stream told us the following. Aside from the Sprint 2 update that we'll be getting early next week, they're getting closer to the Sprint 3 update too, and Henrik hinted that we'll likely be getting it before Christmas. Henrik mentioned that there will be a Christmas gift of some kind for us two weeks after Christmas, so there may be another festive update or event or something else planned as well. At some point they will have debates on their forums where they'll open up polls to ask the player base what features they want to see developed or added to the next roadmap first. He also mentioned Beast Mastery and said it's a huge part of the game and not only for Beast Master players to tap into. He said that all creatures in the world evolve with Beast Mastery functions and that we'll see much more in-depth PvE. He said the Beast Mastery update will bring many new special abilities for creatures that will be used against us when we fight them but that we'll also be able to use ourselves if we tame them. The Beast Mastery update will bring about a huge rebalance and more options, surprises and tools when it comes to creatures and their abilities. And the new Adrenaline system as well as the special ability system for weapons will be two of the options you'll be able to pick from when it comes to voting for the next features to develop. Henrik said they have a huge pack of points of interest in development this time, much larger than previously, maybe coming along with the upcoming Sprint 2 update, but he didn't confirm that, as well as a specific sewer that will spice things up. He also mentioned that there are tweaks happening with rituals and artifacts and the impacts of things there. He said every creature will have a new, interesting, experimenting part of some kind, and even the creatures that are weak and never used may actually start being used by players in some tactical ways, as they're gonna get some crazy cool stuff that also makes sense in relation to their species. I don't know anything about rituals in the game, but that's what Henrik mentioned about this, for those who might know what he's talking about there. They'll be tweaking and expanding on the bounty hunting system as they see that it works and adds some interesting components to the game. They also have grand plans for their tier 3 AI, including titans of some kind, which I think are really big monsters. They're only on the tier 2 AI at the moment, and Henrik says that tier 3 is something else, hinting that it's a pretty significant step forward. They're working on some specific command functions for their world loot that will allow them to crank it up and make it controllable and manageable and 90% of players voted for 5v5 fights in the next arena event during a poll on the stream, and Henrik said that they'd keep that in mind for next time. Elementalism will be quite different to other schools of magic and something players can use without needing to group up in any way. They'll be able to use it solo easily, but learning how to use it effectively will be one of the main challenges. Getting the knowledge needed to use it will be the more difficult aspect of elementalism. Henrik said that there are a few different groups of power in elementalism, with some being easier to tap into and others being more time consuming and tricky to fully cover. They're also developing a mercy mode system that is pretty insane and supports cutting off limbs that go flying off in some way, as well as a system supporting fatality moves or executions, but they ran into an Unreal Engine bug during development and it will take some time to get it all implemented and it will be pretty violent. They're aiming on releasing elementalism in full in one update, but if they need to leave some parts of it out while they fix any issues, then they'll do that to avoid delaying the release of elementalism itself. Henrik said that the human clade gifts are being buffed with the team gift being boosted to make it more interesting, powerful and useful. I think Henrik might have been referring to the tactician clade gift here, but I'm not sure. The opportunist gift will also be changed to another artisan type clade gift, providing more skill points and some minor tweaks on the cleric gift are being made so that the maximum penalty to mana regeneration for wearing armor is decreased. When given the opportunity to vote for new features, Henrik believes many players will vote for the ship system as the new big thing, as it will open up a whole new world in terms of game content and action. 
He said it's going to be an awesome ship system never seen before in any other MMO where you'll construct and build and design ships in a cool way. This all sounds pretty good and it does seem like a lot of work is still going into developing the game and the systems needed for all the new planned features to be implemented. It seems like everything is slowly coming together and the next few months will be really interesting. It was a long stream due to the arena event and light on info compared to the last one because the focus was really on the event more than anything else. And so that's all for this video guys, but I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.